as you all know, diabetes is no laughing matter, no. That doesn't mean we cannot have a little fun while discussing it, right? So, when I make jokes, don't get personal, don't take it personal. Let's dive into the top 10 foods you should definitely be eating if you have diabetes. Number one, dark chocolate. Eh, good one, right? You heard that right. Moderation can actually be beneficial for people with diabetes. Why? Well, it contains flavonoids, which have been shown to improve heart health and help regulate blood sugar levels. What is next? Well, the berberine. It's not necessarily a food you can just go grab from the public shelf, but don't worry. I didn't make that name up. Berberine is a real compound that contains, that comes from certain plants like golden seal or barberry that's been shown to lower the blood sugar levels and improve insulin sensitivity. It's not a drug by any means, but it's a great natural alternative, not to medications, but a great alternative to other foods, the other supplements that you can have to improve your blood sugar levels and reduce the medication burden. So, we have it at sugarmedies.com. You have the super berberine, you have the regular berberine. You can actually combine the super berberine and regular berberine. You can combine them with metformin if you're on metformin. You can do all of these combinations. As long as you don't have GI side effects like stomach pain and so forth, you are good. It's hard to be overdosed with these uh, herbs. Number three, bitter melon. That's a melon that is bitter. This is not something that everybody eats, but there's a lot of fans of it. It's a unique looking vegetable that resembles like a wrinkly cucumber. Some people call it a fruit, but it's commonly used actually in Chinese and Indian cuisine. It contains compounds that have been shown to lower the blood sugar levels and even help with the weight loss. That's why we have bitter melon in our supplement called Glucodefense. So go ahead and give bitter melon a chance because you may like it if you never tried it. And if you don't like it, you have the supplement that also helps. If you need to take it regularly every day, supplement is the best way to do it. Number four is the avocado. Yes, it's delicious fruit. It's technically a fruit. It's high monounsaturated fats, which can help improve insulin sensitivity and lower blood sugar levels. Plus, who doesn't love some guacamole? Oh, some of you don't. I don't know why. But next one up on the list is the chia seeds. Now, if you don't like it, you better start liking it. There's a lot of good ways to eat it. These tiny seeds are a powerhouse of nutrients. Fiber, protein, omega-3, fatty acids, you name it. They also have a low glycemic index, right? Meaning that it will not spike your blood sugar levels. It is also going to help your cholesterol. So go ahead and have some pudding. I have a lot of videos about chia seeds. Number six, gymnema. Another fun name, right? Well, gymnema is uh, an herb in Ayurvedic medicine uh, to treat diabetes. It's actually a food. But, like I said, food can be medicine. It is believed to work by stimulating the pancreas to make more insulin when needed, not excessively, and increasing the number of insulin receptors in the body to make you more insulin sensitive. Great, right? Again, we have it in our sugar and glucose defense supplement, and uh, but you can eat it as a regular food as well. Number seven, leafy greens. Not as exciting as berberine or bitter melon, but still a crucial part of any diet for diabetes. Many leafy greens like spinach and kale and collard greens are rich in nutrients and low in carbohydrates, making them as a great choice for people with diabetes. Even if you're a carnivore, even if you're a keto guy, you have to have these in your diet. Number eight is salmon. Not only is salmon a great source for protein, right? It also contains a lot of omega-3 fatty acids. What does it do? Well, omega-3s can improve your insulin resistance and reduce the inflammation in your body, which you need a lot. Diabetes is an inflammatory disease. Blood sugar is the result of it. It's not the cause of it. That's most people don't understand that. So, yeah, go ahead. Get some salmon. Treat yourself some grilled salmon tonight. You must have salmon at least once a week. I do twice a week, and I prefer that for my patients as well. Number nine is quinoa. Now, this trendy grain is not only delicious, but it's also a great choice for people with diabetes. If you're going to have a grain, like if you're a rice guy, better look into quinoa. It's a lot better. It's high in protein and fiber, making it a filling option that will not cause your blood sugar levels to skyrocket. Try to make a bowl of quinoa, for example, with some veggies and protein for a tasty, nutritious meal. Number 10 is, yeah, you probably heard it from me before. Salon cinnamon, 
I have saved the absolute best for the last. You might think that you have had cinnamon, but let me tell you, until you have had the Ceylon cinnamon from Sri Lanka, you haven't truly tasted the cinnamon. Why? Because Ceylon cinnamon is a true cinnamon. It is a superior form to regular kind that you find on the shelves in the supermarkets. It's not just about the taste, though. Ceylon cinnamon is lower in what? Coumarin, which is... The compound can be harmful actually in large doses, so that is true that regular cinnamon can be risky for some of you. Not, you know, majority of the time it is safe, but if you're eating spoons and spoonfuls of it, it may be problematic. But Ceylon cinnamon does not have that problem. It has a lot of impressive benefits for blood sugar control. So next time you're in the spice aisle, give um, cassia mist and go straight for Ceylon cinnamon. Again, in Super Berberine, we have Ceylon Cinnamon, and we have a Ceylon Cinnamon as a separate supplement on our website as well, if you're not a spice person. Now, before we part ways, let's have a little chat about portion control, because let's be honest, knowing what to eat is half of the battle. The other one is not eating the entire kitchen. So, portion control is as important as picking the right foods by managing diabetes. It is like buying a sports car. It's not enough to just own it. You also need to know how not to drive like a mania. Even the healthiest foods on this list, if consumed in excess, can cause blood sugar levels to rise. Remember, too much of anything is bad. Yes, even chocolate. And avocado. You can have too much of it. Yes, you can. So next time you are scooping out that third helping of quinoa or chugging down a vat of berberine, remember your body is not a storage locker. Practice portion control and keep your blood sugar levels in check. After all, the goal is not just to live with diabetes, but to live well with it. All right, now that we have covered the what and let's dive into the how. Incorporating these nutrients, these nutrient-dense foods into your daily routine shouldn't be like pulling teeth, right? And here are some fun and easy ways for you to get started. Like for dark chocolate, start seeing dark chocolate as your secret weapon. Melt a piece in the morning for your oatmeal or sprinkle it on top of your fruits for a diabetes-friendly dessert if you have that sweet tooth. Just remember, again, moderation is the key. Don't go treating it like a main course. How about berberine? Well, you can exactly throw berberine in a salad, at least I would recommend it, but the best way to consume it is in a supplement form. Again, just remember, check with your doctor if they have any idea about supplements. Of course, you know, you don't want to just ask any doctor who has no idea, but it's a great addition can be used in combination with metformin as well. Bitter metal. You know, don't let the name scare you, right? I mean, Bitter melon can actually pairs really nicely in a stir fry, or better yet, stuffed with some minced meat or herbs. Plus, you will feel like a gourmet chef using such a unique ingredient. Gymnema is typically taken as a tea or supplement again, so consider starting your day with a warm cup of gymnema tea. Now, we are bringing a new tea to the market. It is going to be awesome. It's coming up. A lot of people like to drink tea, so we are bringing what we call as diabetes, right? Diabetes, name so cute. I love the name. And it works like a charm. So watch out, it's coming. It's December, I think in January, maybe mid-January, January 2024, we'll have it on the shelf. Now, what are, what are you going to do with the leafy greens, right? The great thing about the leafy greens is... Um, you can sneak them into nearly anything. You can make smoothies with them. You can put on your sandwiches, your salad, you name it. You will hardly even notice that they're there. You know, just sneak it in. The trick is to get creative and have fun with it. These foods are not just good for you. They are also delicious. So go ahead, experiment with the recipes and find what tastes good for you. After all, managing diabetes doesn't mean you have to sacrifice all the joy and enjoyment of the food. It is all about eating wisely, which helps you dramatically in other ways as well, not just blood sugar control. So, bon appetit, my friends. There you have it. You got the 10 foods that are not only good for your diabetes management, but also fun to sell. Well, most of them, right? Go enjoy a delicious and delicious meal now.
Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Remember to visit sugarandies.com, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far, and I hope you subscribed already. Uh, it, if you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.